Hi, my name's Sandy. I want to speak about some realizations I've had about joy. I was at a uh, concert yesterday with my mother and my husband. And that something came up, and that's why I'm speaking about it now, regarding joy. And in particular, um, say a spontaneous reaction or expression. Um, I'm someone who has been fairly inhibited throughout my life. I have had trouble fear, acting uh, in a way that's spontaneous, even if I have a feeling or emotion or sad sadness inside me. I would have difficulty uh, letting that out. So I suppressed my emotions and feelings and thoughts actually. Kept things inside. So yesterday my mom and uh, my husband and I were at a concert and in the concert they um, suggested to the audience clap along, sing along. And my mom and husband they're clapping away and smiling and laughing. And um, I wanted to but I couldn't. Sometimes I can, and I did throughout the concert sometimes, especially sing, because in my uh, 30s I started singing and I did go out and perform a little bit as a songwriter, and that was really hard for me, but it was something I pushed through and I got used to doing it. Uh, not that I was good or anything, but I guess it was entertaining enough. So I got used to that, so I did sing, but I have trouble, say, clapping along because I feel, or uh, I'm afraid I'll look stupid, basically, so it's fear, fear of exposure, fear that I will be rejected because I look foolish. Um, in, so I have trouble expressing, really, my joy, uh, but I really didn't know what joy was. After I quit drinking, I would say, maybe... Um, two months or so, I started noticing uh, there were some moments of peace and serenity. And they were moments. They were just moments. Because I was very used to living in chaos. Chaos is a convenient tool that uh, I think that we unconsciously, or I unconsciously, uh, used um, to avoid myself. Just being me in the moment. I had actually never really heard of that concept. Maybe I had kind of tried it in my 20s. But I, I left it. And maybe some of that reason was I was busy getting married, having babies, etc. Coping with survival. But chaos. Um, so alcohol is a great thing to use if you want a lot of chaos in your life. I, I don't recommend it at all. It does create chaos. And, you know, the good thing about chaos is, and I'll just say, a thought that joy was, say, extreme happiness, perhaps, that it was a feeling of happiness, and it was sustained, sustainable. And I think that as an adult, uh, staying home with my kids, and life didn't go quite the way I'd hoped, um... I used alcohol, um, I've discussed this before, for several reasons. But one of the reasons would be um, because it kept me away from me. So I would be in a state of elation, uh, the beginning of drinking, and perhaps if I had so much anyway. There would be a state of elation, and then you would be plummeted to the depths of depression the next day, uh, and perhaps so sick that I couldn't drink that day. See, I'm still away from me because I need to recover. I need to get over this hangover, and I had horrible, horrible hangovers. And so I needed to focus on that. Even in uh, the first few months, say, I quit drinking, there was such drama. I created so many jackpots for myself, several, and some to do with the law and some scary people 
that I owed money to, that kind of thing. This is bad stuff. Very little old uh, housewife, average woman, me. Um, so I would experience these moments, uh, fleeting moments, where there was some peace, serenity. And I noticed them, you know, especially when I go on my porch and smoke a few cigarettes. Say the kids were, everything was organized in the house. I have a moment to myself and I go, and I, I noticed that. And I thought, oh, that's, that's peace. And then the mind, my mind would start again. My mind would start, start, start. I'd worry, oh my God, oh, people, money. I'm going to be killed by this drug dealer. I'm, whatever. I have to go to jail. Because I have charges against me. Um, as time went on, and things got straightened out, and I became calmer and, and had some stability over a number of years, and then quite a bit of stability, and created quite a bit of stability for myself. I would say just in the last few years, I, I started realizing that there were beyond moments of serenity and peace, uh, these got stretched out, so I would have uh, a time, usually in the end of the day, where I would feel, and I didn't know what it was, uh, so I thought, you know, it's not happiness. It's not what I was used to because the way I perceived happiness was a lot of excitement. So there would be lots and lots of excitement, addicted to excitement, I have to have excitement because I feel alive, I can feel something, I feel excited, oh my god. And I'd create all these incredible scenarios and fantasies of how I'd be rich and famous and meet Prince Charming. And then the dam. So then I'd feel something again. I would feel depressed, I would feel and see chaos in my life, I would feel panic and fear, and again it was dramatic, dramatic high, dramatic low, dramatic high, dramatic low. If I was in between, I equated that with depression. So if things were just in between, I thought I was depressed. Now, for many years, I guess I was, because I was hungover and alcoholic and depressing. So to be fair to myself, yeah. But when I got sober, it took quite a while. When I realized this, this, this here, this stability, wasn't depression. Oh well, what is it? Uh, I wasn't really feeling anything, and that's a scary. That's kind of scary. Oh, oh, you don't feel anything. What are you? You, you better go to a therapist and pay them lots of money so you can bring out your feelings. Uh, but I kind of liked that. You know, still water. I kind of like the still water. I didn't want to bring out anything. So when I found um, the Destiny site online, and I'm taking that course, the first introductory course, Destiny I Process, and I'm learning about my thoughts, feelings, and emotions, what they are, and why they've been placed in me, um, and how I am controlled by my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And so. This still water that I, I was thinking after years. Uh, I like this. I, I don't feel anything. And destiny validate, helped me, validate me, that it was okay that I wasn't uh, someone in the program that cried all the time. Uh, I didn't want to cry all the time. I didn't really feel like crying all the time. Um, I can, uh, something that I found, though, and with the joy is, I remember when I first heard myself laugh, I wasn't used to hearing the sound of me laughing, maybe unless I was drunk. So the sound of me laughing was, I was quite shocked by it actually. And now I can laugh out loud often, and I do, all the time. And uh, that's a joy, just to spontaneously laugh out loud. And that's a simple joy. And I have to say, um, I am very okay with my simple joys. I don't have a complicated life. I have a, a boring life <laughs> that I'm learning to love more and more. And um, so I think the important thing is that perhaps I am every man in many ways. And you know, so many people are prescribed antidepressants. I don't know if you need antidepressants or not. I have no idea. You should probably go talk to a doctor about that. If you're thinking about taking them or you are on them, but I have to say that me, as every man, I thought I needed antidepressants, and then I, I, I just decided to stop and see how it goes. 
this isn't, I know I stopped long enough and was learning about, in fact, what my thoughts, feelings, and emotions are. And I thought, I'm not depressed. I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here in this moment with the breath, one and equal to me. I'm just here as me. And I don't need pills to make me feel different. I can introduce things to my life, music back into my life again, and more things uh, as I go along. That's fine. I will do that. But I don't need excitement. Excitement isn't happiness. It's a trick. It's a trap. It's a, it's, it's a road leading to nowhere, really. You know, it has an opposite, doesn't it? It has the polar, sad. Whereas joy, I find is, is quiet. It's not very, it's not noisy. It's stable. Now, do I, um, can I express my joy spontaneously, completely uninhibited uh, in the moment uh, with, with each breath? No. No way, man. I'm not there yet. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Doesn't matter. I can love me unconditionally today. Um, I can uh, accept myself, and I have made a beginning to express joy. So, joy to me isn't a feeling. Uh, it is just a beingness in the moment here. And, um, yeah. There she is again, barking away. I guess I better take that little dog out.